Alright guys, Lloyd Von is back here on the Immortalizer and what you guys see in front of you are is the old pole and the new pole. Uh, this pole right here on your left being the old pole having the slots on top, a screw on the side, I'll take that away. And the new pole now has a slot on the side and the screw on top. Uh, what this means is that in my opinion it's going to be one of the most easiest rebuildables on the market to put together. I'm going to show that to you guys right now and why is it? So let's get started and we'll put it back together. Again, I'm going to take the ceramic piece and that little piece is going to attach to your firing pin. Slot on slot once again. Flip that over. Take my positive pin being a shorter pin. Jam that in there. Screw this in. I'm going to try and move as fast as possible, guys, here for you guys. Try to keep it as seamless as possible before my camera shuts off there. Alright, so I got the positive pin in. Take the body there. Line the hole up. Take the. Oh, well, it came out. Take the negative pole. Right into there. So, and put this in. Okay, got everything fairly tightened down. Okay, now I'm going to put this back up for you guys here. There you go. And now, okay. There's a special feature on these screws here on top, guys. Uh, as you can see, side by side there, the screws look a little bit different. They both, both do have the Phillips head on there. Uh, this other screw can also take a flat, um, a regular screwdriver. And also, the threads are buttered enough, and it also fits the slot of your fingernail. If you want to tighten that down with your fingernail as well, you can do that as well. I'm going to use the option of using my, my one tool here. Put the build in, so I'll loosen that. So I ready to put my build in. Go straight into it. There you go. All right, so you guys, you guys can see I've already pre-cut my wick. Uh, I'm gonna put this stock in before you guys here, but this time, like all my other videos, I'm gonna go uh, underhand on the twist. I'm gonna give it three loops, which is gonna be right around 1.3, 1.4. Uh, I'm also using a new wire here guys now this new wire here that was provided to me by Pat uh, here in the Philippines we call it the Baquero wire uh, known as also the Linguini wire it is much thinner than the Fettuccine wire uh, that was featured in the first video that I made I'm not sure I get this much as the end as possible here because I did pre-cut this to have no waste now the difference between this wire, I'm going to make this up close for you guys, let me cut it back Okay. so what's great about this wire uh, pretty much like the round wire that you guys all deal with there is that this is going to give me much more space in between my coils. I'm bring this back up closer to you guys here. So there's a body the bottom piece. It's not the prettiest thing. I did speed up. I'm not putting too much time to this. There you go. Turn it around. All right. Now that you've seen this, guys, I'm gonna jam this right in. I'm bring this up close now. Bring my boiler a little bit more closer. So you can see, I'm gonna slip the first wire in right into the slot there. Kind of block it off to ensure it doesn't slip out. Tighten it down. Okay. I'll tighten it down. Got a bite on it. The same thing on the other side. Slip it in. A bit more block on that as well. There you go. Let's hold it right there. So, as you guys can see, I didn't put any type of special twist on that. It's a simple slip into the side of this eye there. Now, as you guys can see, again, I went underhand on that. 
give me maximum space in between the ceramic insulator and the coil. Now, I think I pretty much everything tightened up. Now, one thing I noticed about guys about these screws, you want to ensure that you want they are tightened down uh, on my Provari. It tended to give me a jumping read. Uh, the reason for the jumping read is because simply the screws weren't tight enough down. So, I'm going to stick it on my provider. Get a read on it. I should be right around 1.3 on this, I believe. Um, as advertised, 1.3. See where I'm firing at? I always go maximum of. Uh, 2.2, that's a little bit too high. Uh, 1.3, there you go, 3.6. Show you guys a little fire there. Got all three coils firing. As you guys can see. Cut back the excess here on the sides. Now, let's take on the air chamber here. Drip shield, if that's what you want to call it. Get some juice on there. Pretty nice, yeah. Got, I'm not gonna even prime this for you guys. I'm gonna straight in the vaping here. Let's get a top cap on there. And that down for you. By the way, guys, I am using the standard provider like my last videos. Um, this was a gift from Pat, uh, being that I won this contest on this first video. You guys are straight vape here. Give me one last check on the read. I'm still at 1.3, and I'm firing at. 3.6. You guys see that? Anyways, fire at 3.6. You guys are vape here. Pretty sweet, immortalizer.